Alright guys, um, I'll be doing a review on the program called Bluestacks, which is an Android emulator for the PC. Um, so as you can see, you go to the website over here, which is uh, bluestacks.com, a pretty simple website. And they have a download link for Windows, and they even have one for all you Mac users out there. So yeah, it's a pretty straightforward download and, and installation. So let me show you the app. Right, as you can see, I've already installed it, and I have the icon on my desktop. Let me just start it up. It's a pretty nifty app, uh, nifty program actually. Okay, this is the screen. As you can see, you have some familiar Android icons, and uh, I mean, I've been tinkering around with this. It's pretty cool. Right, so this is the home screen. As you can see, it's a very user-friendly interface, and um, Right now, I'm on my apps, which are the apps that I've downloaded. And you can see you have different categories of apps, like from kids, you have all these learning apps and you know games for kids to play, tools like Evernote, Astrid, Springpad, Documents to Go, news apps, games, fashion, photos, social, music. I mean, you even have like Facebook and stuff like that, Instagram, you know, and messaging, you have WhatsApp. I am plus yeah, I am on all this. I mean, it's, it's it's pretty cool, and you even have the top twenty-five apps uh, to choose from if you want to. So it's uh, I like it. I mean, they really they really dined up pretty well. Whoops. Okay, accidentally clicked that. Anyways, let me show you how it works. So let's go to my apps and let's try out a game which I've already downloaded. Uh, let's try Fruit Ninja. Okay, as you can see, it's just like the mobile phone. I mean, all right. So here's the game. Now, for Fruit Ninja, as you know, you have to swipe across the screen to choose or to select an option. So, for your PC, what you have to do is you have to uh, left click. You have to hold on the left mouse button and just swipe across the screen with your mouse. Pretty simple. So again, okay, let me do that. Left click and swipe. Right. Oh, check this out. This is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. the game's running pretty smooth. I mean, I'm not noticing any lag or anything like that. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Just like the just like you're playing on a phone, actually. It's really awesome. Uh, Fort Ninja guys. Alright. I'm gonna waste too much time here just Ah crap. Anyways, yeah, so that's Fruit Ninja. Let me take you let me show you a different app. So as you can see it works pretty smooth. No problems over here. I mean if you look at the pop up uh, screen over here it's just like what you get on your phone or your t or your or your Android tablet device and it's Pretty realistic. Alright, so now that was Fruit Ninja. So that, that was pretty cool. Alright, let me show you a different app. Let me try this racing mode. Whoops. Alright. Alright, as you can see over here, um, it says press the arrow keys and it shows an icon of a phone. Now, what happens is when you press the arrow keys because this for this game when you play it on your on your phone you need to tilt it in order to change direction so you can achieve the same thing it's like when you press the arrow keys left and right it's like you're tilting your phone left and right I mean left right up or down let me show you see if you look at the icon it's like you know I'm tilting the phone so yeah let's try it out and see how it works so yep. So here's the game, tilting left and right. Perfect. No problems. So it's pretty smooth. Again, almost no lag. It even shows you in the game itself. It's very awesome, actually. It's just like playing on your phone. Yeah, so anyways, 
that uh, yeah this is one of the games which you need to tilt and you can see it works pretty well really uh, I mean there's no lag pretty smooth so far so good so yeah this uh, those are those two but there are some games in fact which you can't really play like you know play properly like example temple run but you have to swipe across the screen to change direction and stuff and you you know it's I mean it's not like um, you can play the game but you don't really you can't it's not that easy as such you know because you have to click and keep swiping left and right up or down you know it's not really easy I've tried I couldn't get far at all so yeah I mean there are some games which are a bit difficult to play but um, I mean it's it's mostly all you know uh, you can play almost every other game so like example Angry Birds that's another game where which runs really smooth and I really like the graphics as you can see HD graphics and, I mean it, it, it works really well just click just move your cursor up or down Those are basically the games now uh, you have let's try out something else maybe like you know I have Facebook installed I've not really used it um, oh yeah I have yeah whatsapp which is uh, oops I have not set it up but uh, I have tried it before on this and I have to say that it works really well in fact you know you can it's pretty useful as well if you have lots of contacts using WhatsApp, uh, you know, your friends and stuff. You, know, you can keep WhatsApp running and you get all the messages right on your PC. So it's it's pretty cool that way. I mean, yeah, this this emulator so far, it's it's been performing pretty well. It's still in beta mode. But uh, yeah, so far so good. And uh, let me show you. If you want to download, if, suppose you want a certain app, right? Let's just say Songify. All right. You can search for it right over here. Just type in Songify and uh, press find. It searches for the app. It will come up with a few results. And there you go. It comes up with a list. Choose the one you want. It searches across the app stores, four sources, including the Android market. And uh, it will download it once it finds a result. Yeah, found one. So now it takes a little while. So it's pretty cool, actually. I mean, I I think this uh, this emulator it works pretty well, smooth, no problems, and uh, yeah. It, so I mean, that's basically it. So it just downloads the app, it installs it, and you can start using it straight away. It says installing. takes a while all right so there you go now if you go to my apps you have songify installed so yeah guys that's my review for this uh, bluestacks app which is basically the android image for your pc and i have to say i give it a thumbs up they did a good job I've tried a couple of apps everything works pretty smooth and uh, yeah you guys should definitely check it out download it at bluestacks.com Guys, that's the end of my review. I'll catch you guys later.